the NGO, the civil society organizations, we actually are here to address um, a couple of issues. The first one is actually um, we want to call the civil society organization of Malaysia uh, wants to call upon the Royal Commission of Inquiry to do a probe into Thai Mahmoud's disproportionate wealth. We have our friends from Bursain who is also um, going to you know, highlight the issue on free and fair election in Sarawak which has been jeopardized. As you know, some of you will be young reporters, but those who have been older would know that uh, this is a coalition of uh, NGOs uh, for many years now, since the 80s. And uh, we have taken up questions of uh, justice, democracy, human rights in Malaysia. As far as Sarawak is concerned, many of us, many of our NGOs have been involved with Sub Sarawak uh, for many years as well. Soran, for example, has been involved with the Bakun Dam and the, uh, the plight of the indigenous peoples and the forests in Sarawak uh, and so forth. Get Johan and, uh, and the rest have all been involved. And sitting here, there are several at least, uh, maybe in the next few days, there are many more NGO activists who will be barred from Sarawak, uh, as you know. Uh, we had a press conference just the other day, and shortly after that, we have a new one, Wong Ching Wat, from Versailles and the Civil Rights Committee. So, uh, I don't know. we have, what I'm trying to say, that we have a lot of uh, interest and we have a lot of local standards as far as Sarawak is concerned. And what is of interest today in the start Sarawak state elections is the question of uh, Tad Mahmoud, who has been the Chief Minister of Sarawak for close to 30 years now, and who has become the single biggest liability in the Sarawak state elections. I say the single largest liability because even the Barisan National recognizes that. What we are here today, the coalition of NGOs, is to call for a royal commission of inquiry on all the fabulous wealth of Thai Mahmoud, who has accumulated so much wealth that he is, he is, he is uh, tipped to be one of the richest people in the world, while the state of Sarawak, uh, despite its huge uh, wealth in resources and human resources, is one of the poorest as far as income levels is concerned. So what we're calling for is a Royal Commission of Inquiry because initially we had gone, wanted to ask the MACC to investigate his fabulous wealth. But we've lost, uh, I think the MACC has lost credibility after the second death uh, under its custody. And so we think that since the Malaysian government is so much into a uh, Royal Commission of Inquiry, they are prepared to set a Royal Commission of Inquiry over a sex video. Which, I, which we think is a very elementary police kind of uh, investigation. You can find out who is involved in the sex act. You don't need a royal commission of inquiry. But a royal commission of inquiry is of vital importance in finding out for Malaysian taxpayers and the Sarawak people how the wealth of the Sarawak has gone to this man and his family. And we made the, the work for the royal commission of inquiry is made easy because Thai Mahmoud's Assets have been uh, tabulated, accumulated, and in this uh, in this uh, statement by the NGOs, uh, all the companies are all there, and uh, the way in which Types and his family are connected with these companies are there. Uh, the most fabulous ones, as you know, uh, is the question of the Richford properties in the centre of the city of London. If you know how much the city of London is worth, uh, you will know how much the Richford properties in the city, you know, not just in some uh, house, suburbs of London, which is already very expensive. But if you have a property in the middle of uh, London, city of London, that is, that is really fabulous. They also have a property uh, right in the middle of Seattle, where it seems the FBI have rented their, prop their, their office space, you know. <laughs> And also, they've got property in Ottawa. So these are all listed here, and it's very easy for the uh, for the RCI, the Royal Commission of Inquiry, to uh, go down the line. Okay, and find out how Thai and Assembly members are attached, are linked to all these assets, and the the, the most 
The easiest one to find out, of course, is in the middle of Sarawak, Kuching, and the properties and the interests of the Chaya, Chaya Mata uh, Sarawak, which is the company that has been linked also to the Bakun Dam project. Uh, in this, we find that uh, West Malaysians should also be interested in, in their interests because uh, Chaya Mata uh, owns a UBG bank, which used to be the, the former Bank Utama. And to, to uh, help them with their, with their, with their mergers, etc., they've got money from the EPF, our money. The employee, employees at Provident Fund you know, has offered uh, 1.4 billion uh, to UBG, this bank. So our money is being used uh, to help out a bank in Sarawak that has interest with Thai Mawad's family. And as you know, in the past, uh, the EPM has been used to bail out uh, not only the Bakun Dam, but many other failed projects uh, of the failed uh, capitalists in this country. I'm not